Regular polygons are the creme de la creme of polygons, a class unto themselves. This lesson will teach us the names, properties, and parts of regular polygons. Also, we will learn to calculate the sum of interior angles of regular polygons. Let's start. What is a polygon? Polygons are straight-sided, flat shapes that close in a space. This means every polygon is two-dimensional, uses only line segments to create its sides, and has an interior and exterior. The word polygon comes from the Greek and means many angles, because all simple polygons have as many sides as they have angles. The simplest polygon, the triangle, has three interior angles and three exterior angles, so it also has three sides. You can have polygons with so many sides they appear to be circles, even when they are not. Once you get above ten sides, most mathematics students just say n gone, where n is the number of sides or interior angles, as in a 18 gone or a 25 gone, rather than trying to remember the Greek origin name. What is a regular polygon? To be a regular polygon, the flat, closed, straight-sided shape must also have another property. Every interior and exterior angle in the regular polygon is equal to every other interior and exterior angle, and every side is equal in length to every other side. A regular polygon has two dimensions, straight sides, congruent equal length sides, an interior and exterior, equal interior angles, equal exterior angles. If even one of those features is not present, you do not have a regular polygon. You may have three of the features, two dimensions, straight sides, and interior and exterior, but still not have a regular polygon. You would have an irregular polygon. A rectangle that is longer than it is tall is an example of an irregular polygon. A scalene triangle, home plate on a baseball or softball field, and a kite are all also examples of irregular polygons. Let's take a look at the properties of regular polygons. Only when all six conditions outlined above are present will you have a regular polygon. Let's examine a suspicious shape and see. Here we have triangle CAT, drawn with black lines, so our black cat is suspicious. Indeed. Go through the six properties of regular polygons. Is it two-dimensional? Is it made with straight sides? Are its sides congruent? Does it close in a space, creating an interior and exterior? Does it have equal interior angles? Does it have equal exterior angles? Results of our scrutiny using the six identifying properties of regular polygons, triangle CAT is a regular polygon, the simplest kind. It is an equilateral triangle with interior angles of 60 degrees and exterior angles of 120 degrees. Names of regular polygons. Imagine you are unpacking a shipment of polygons. You have to put all the irregular polygons on the discount shelf and all the regular polygons on the full price shelf. Using your knowledge of the identifying properties of regular polygons, you can easily see that only a few typical polygons are regular. Here, our regular polygons are an equilateral triangle, a square, a regular pentagon, a regular hexagon, and a regular octagon. You can create regular polygons of any number of sides and interior angles, but usually you will not name them with anything other than the number of the sides or interior angles and then gone at the end. For example, a regular inagon or ninegon has nine sides. A regular decagon or tengon has ten sides. And a regular hectagon or one hundred gone has 100 sides. Any polygon that does not have equal length sides along with equal interior and exterior angles is an irregular polygon. It goes on the discount shelf.
Let's go over the parts of regular polygons. As simple as they are, regular polygons still have six parts. Sides, interior and exterior, interior angles, exterior angles, vertices, diagonals. We will illustrate with a basic regular polygon, the hexagon. This is a familiar shape. Think of the cells of a honeybee hive. Our hexagon has six congruent sides. It has six equal interior angles, each 120 degrees. It also has six equal exterior angles. An exterior angle is created by extending one side and measuring the angle between that extension and an adjacent side. Exterior angles of every simple polygon add up to 360 degrees because a trip around the polygon completes a rotation or return to your starting place. Where sides meet, they form vertices, so our hexagon also has six vertices. Inside the hexagon sides, where the interior angles are, is the hexagon's interior. Outside its sides is the hexagon's exterior. This becomes important when you consider complex polygons, like a star shape or pentagram, for example. Regular polygons can also make diagonals. Connect any non-adjacent vertices in the interior of the hexagon to make diagonals. All simple polygons can be divided into triangles using diagonals. The minimum number of triangles created in our hexagon by drawing three diagonals is four. Each triangle has interior angles adding to 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a regular hexagon is four times 180 degrees, which adds up to 720 degrees. Now, let's find the sum of their interior angles. The interiors of all polygons can be broken up into triangles, which is a handy way to find the sum of their interior angles. Take two less than the number of sides n and multiply times 180 degrees. To find any single interior angle, divide your answer by n. For example, angle A equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. Lesson Summary Now you have all the tools you need to identify polygons. Tell regular ones from irregular ones. Name regular polygons and recognize them by their properties. List the parts of regular polygons, sides, interior, interior angles, vertices, diagonals, exterior angles, and calculate the sums of the interior angles of polygons.